Hi, my name is Joe Moldy. I'm, I'm the owner of Affordable Egress Windows and Basement Waterproofing. So this specific project for Hoffman Weber, we're doing an egress window, as you can see, and some drain tile around the perimeter of this basement. Most old, older homes in the Minneapolis area have uh, block foundations or poured concrete foundations. This particular house has block foundation and the blocks have hollow cavities. And in a lot of homes you go into, even if you buy a new house, they got gray paint on the walls, white paint on the walls. It looks beautiful, but on the outside of the walls, the waterproofing membrane that was put on in 1950 or 1960 or whenever the house was built, even 2000s, is gone. So you get little hairline cracks in the mortar joints or in the wall, and since the wall is hollow, then water starts filling up in the wall. So we drill these weep holes, as you can see down here, uh, in the mortar joints and the cavities of the block to allow any water that's in the wall to come out the weep hole and come down into the trench where the drain tile is placed inside, down in the trench. After the rock has been installed over the drain tile, the next step is installing the dimpled sheeting. Depending on the type of foundation you have, determines the height of the dimpled sheeting. If you have a stone foundation or a poured foundation, the dimpled sheeting needs to go all the way up to the wall to the grave. This is just one section of a dimpled sheeting membrane, and it comes in rolls that are up to nine feet tall. I have folded it, as you can see, approximately right here, which is enough to get over the weep holes. And once the water comes down the walls and comes behind, out of the weep holes, it goes underneath the dimpled sheeting in the rock, under the drain tile, and works its way to the sump basket. So the next step after the dimpled sheeting is placing the concrete back to the floor level, and the finished product is the floor level with the floor, and there's just gonna be a simple couple inches of dimpled sheeting above the floor. This system can also be used for radon mitigation. It's best if you have a system around the whole perimeter of the building, because then you can just tee into the system. You put a, simply put a T in and then an inline fan to up, outside above the roof line 12 inches and that will draw all the uh, gases from underneath the slab out through the pipe and up, up above the roof.